with Cizek Stitch and today we're going to do a shop with me for Needlework Expo 2022. As you can see here, I am on the Garon Citri website. I have Simon here with me so you might hear him meowing in the background. He's okay. He just wants a little bit of attention and to do some shopping with us. So this is the homepage of Garon Stitchery. They have not only great customer service and super fast shipping, but they also have a very comprehensive, um, uh, comprehensive online. Um, I'm losing my words here. <laughs> they have a lot of a lot of the Needlework Expo <laughs> designs on there. Um, so as you can see, Expo is August 27th through 29th. And what you do when you're on the homepage, you just type in garon-stitchery.com and you come to their homepage and over here, you will see the Needlework Expo pre-order. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and that will take us to the pre-order page. So you will see here, send an email with what you want to garon.totenbags at gmail.com along with your name, your zip code, and your PayPal. Now, pre-orders are due by August 24th. So you only have a few days uh, to look through this, watch this video in its entirety, and get your pre-orders into Garon Stitchery. So just be aware of that. August 24th is only three days away. Now, I haven't looked at any of these myself. So I'm going to get a pen and a piece of paper and jot down the ones that I want to pre-order and I encourage you to do the same. Last year when I did this, it's a very long video. So we'll see how far we get, but uh, just know that this is gonna be a long video. We're gonna go through each and every single item that's available for pre-order at Needlework Expo that Garon has received. There may be other ones that they have not yet received or that may be added at a later date, but this is the most comprehensive uh, site that I have found. So again, if you want to pre-order from Garon, send your email to garon.totenbags at gmail.com, include your contact information, and let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So I'm just gonna start with the first one. So first up, we have It's a Date, October 31st. Uh, this is by, it doesn't say who it's by, actually. oh, the Mindful Needle. All right, there we go. So you'll see these are sold out because you can't actually purchase them yet. They're available for pre-order. So October 31st um, the by the Mindful Needle. Very cute. Let's see if we can do a larger image. Eh, it doesn't get much larger, actually. So I will just hit next. Next up, we have 25 December uh, by Serenita de Campagna. This is a beautiful Christmas project. Oh, I should show, oh, well, we don't have, sometimes the designers don't send additional information. So that's all we know about it. It looks fairly straightforward and simple and very beautiful. I love this font of December in there. Next up, we have some linen, 28 count Vichy linen by Nikki's Creations. The size would be a 20 by 20 piece. I love the daisies there. That, does, that probably doesn't come with the linen. <laughs> All right, next up we have Three Wise Women by Erica Michaels. And it says, three wise women brought nappies, formula, and casseroles, then stayed for babysitting, tea, and laundry. This is uh, 83 wide by 103 high. And you can go here for additional information. I'm going to try to make this video a little bit shorter so I won't go into all the details, but you can jot down the names if you like it and get additional information from the Garon site. So next up is 31 October by Serenita de Campagna. Again, a simple piece. It, it kind of goes nicely with the Christmas piece. Simple. Uh, but very cute. I love the black cat there. I like that one a lot. Next up, we have 32 Count Old England uh, by Nikki's Creations, 20 by 20 pieces. It looks like it's a linen. Next up, we have A, B, C, and the linen 
Green Handmaid and, and a Bee Charm. So this is by Fairy Wool in the Wood, and it sounds like you get the whole kit. So you get the chart for this ABC, you get the linen and a charm, which I don't know what the, which the charm is. Maybe that? I'm not sure, but it's very cute either way. Like I said, I'm looking at these for the first time with you all, so, um, you know, I haven't previewed them. So next up is A Perfect Match by Silver Creek Samplers, and it says, My love for you will never cease. You are my missing puzzle piece. Very cute. Great anniversary piece. Next up is A Shepherd's Care 2 by Erica Michaels. So it looks like you get a drum, a berry, and uh, what's likely a needle book, I assume. Very cute. Next, we have a spooky book ooh, by Lindy Stitches, and it has goth chicken. Six, you get six spooky cross stitch patterns. So shiny things, the goth chicken, and there's several others. So you get six, goth chicken, a moody crow who's contemplating his place in the world, Raven's Needle Book, a popular kit from last year, uh, and it includes finishing instructions, Grave Fellows, a small gathering of cemetery enthusiasts, Broomstick Brigade, a fearsome clan of black cats with skills, Blackbird Pie, and cor Candy Corn Addict. So you get those six charts in this one book by Lindy Stitches. A Year in the Woods, Little Brown Bat. That's cute. So that will be coming out if you're collecting collecting these like I am. This one will come out by Cottage Garden Samplings. ABC of Country and Horse Charm Included. So this is by Fairy Wool in the Wood. Um, and you get, you can see this charm is a little horse, darling. Next up, we have ABC of is Easter and Heart Charm by Fairy Wool in the Wood. I think the charm is this little chick right here. I think that's, oh no, it says Heart Charm. Duh. I don't see where it's placed on there, on this particular piece, but it's cute. Next up, we have ABC of Memento Mori and a Rose Charm Included, again by Fairy Wool in the Wood. Another darling little piece. Memento Mori. Next up, we have ABC of Valentine with an Anchor Charm by Fairy Wool in the Wood. So a Valentine one, so you could do these seasonally if you wanted to. You could even, I mean, I know this is controversial. You could even take off the alphabet if you didn't like the alphabet and just, like, the little scene is cute just by itself. Next up, we have Abundant Table by Erica Michaels. Let me see if I can get bigger. Okay, so this is a bit bigger, so I can maybe read it to you. It says, this is beautiful. May the abundance of this table never fail and never be less, thanks to the blessings of God who has fed us and satisfied our needs. To him be the glory forever. In peace let us eat this food which the Lord hath provided for us. Blessed be the Lord and his gifts. Amen. So that's a beautiful little um, prayer for your, maybe for your dining room or your kitchen. It is big, 209 by 205, but you can do it. It's mostly words, right? Um, it doesn't say if the words are over one or, or, or what, but um, it's It's beautiful. Abundant Table by Erica Michaels. Next up, we have Advent by Serenita de Campagna. So this is like an Advent calendar. Really, really darling. Love that. I have like two or three other Advent calendars, which is the only reason why I'm not writing that one down on my own list. Next up, we have Alice Robinson 1821 Reproduction Sampler by Stitchy Prose. And it says, when I was young, I little thought that leaning... Learning was so dearly bought, but now by experience, I by experience find it is not gained by an idle mind. She was nine when she stitched that. It's another bigger one, 136 by 186.
Next up, we have All About the Acorn. This is by Luhu Stitches. This was actually a release from last year's Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit, um, and she is actually releasing it this year. So uh, you can see uh, the flying uh, squirrel is capturing acorns through the air as he falls. Very cute. Next up is All Hallows Eve by Erica Michaels. I think this one was also um, uh, released last year at, is this the same one from the, the Garan Halloween box? Maybe it's a different one. I'm not quite sure. I haven't looked at it in a while, <laughs> but it's possible. But it's called All Hallows Eve by Erica Michaels. Next up, we have another All Hallows Eve by Luminous Fiber Arts. This one's a little less spooky. You have pumpkins and a black cat. Look at, oh my gosh, that is darling. The black cat that is standing on the, the Quaker, the little Quaker image. How cute is that? So cute. So that's by Luminous Fiber Arts, also called All Hallows Eve. These are in alphabetical order in case you did pick up on that already. Next, we have All in Love by My Big Toe, and it says, Let all that you do be done in love, and it's from Corinthians 1614. Very cute little piece. It's 70 stitches wide by 42 high. Next up, we have All She Surveys by Little Robin Designs. I mean, oh my goodness. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that hillside right here. I love that. I love the tree and the flowers. Beautiful. So I'm not sure. Halloween feather tree. So this is a different one. I'm not sure if these are each being released or you get them all. I don't assume you get them all, but EE's little sampler. So I'm not sure how that works, but that's all she surveys by Little Robin Designs. All the Things Halloween Booklet by Annabelle's. So you get a book. Oh my gosh, these are darling. Halloween Street with some spooky mansions that aren't super spooky. Here's your Halloween train, Halloween Express. You get all of these in the same booklet. All the things Halloween, and then it's like a sampler of Halloween images. Darling, 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 darling. That is All Things Halloween Booklet by Annabella's. Next up is Amongst the Crows by Frog Cottage Designs. This is a sweet little sampler. I love the colors in that. That one is... Oh, it doesn't tell us how big it is. Can't be too big, right? Next up is Animal Alphabet Series by Luhu Stitches. So this is D, E, and F that are being released at Needlework Expo. They're sold individually, and these are the most recent releases, Danny Dog, Ellie Elephant, and Fanny Fox. So look, they are so cute. I really like this series a lot. Animal Alphabet Series, again by Lou Who Stitches. Next up, we have Anne Wass, 1815 by Old Willow Stitchery. And I can't quite read what that says down there, so I'm not going to strain my eyes if that's all right. But here's a beautiful sampler. She stitched her sampler in shades of green and brown in 1815 at the age of 11. The instructions include details of the satin board, satin stitch border Adam and Eve are featured in this design along with two ships. There you go. Anne Wass, 1815. Next up, we have Antonia Roselle y Garcia, 1886. This is by my dear friend Jan of Jan Hicks Creates. And look at this. Why do I love this so much? Look at that beautiful alphabet. This is such, this is kind of like such a beautiful, you know, for motifs, right? Or I mean, not for motifs, like if you need an alphabet, right? It's just 
it's wonderful. In fact, I'm going to write that one down. Um, this is a reproduction, a Spanish antique reproduction sampler charted in hand dyed fibers by Vicki Clayton in both a faded colorway representing the front colors and a bright colorway representing the colors on the back. Conversion to over dyed fossils in DMC is included. She stitches hers on 40, 40 count. I'm not going to stitch on 40 count. <laughs> and it is big, 246 by 253, which is part of probably why I love it so much is because it's big, but I'm just joking. I don't know why. Like, I am not a sampler person, but I love this. I love the colors she chose. If you know Jan, she is a master of colors. Antonio Roselle y Garcia by Jan Hicks, a Jan Hicks Creates. As Time Flies by Ronnie Rowe. So this one, let's see if I can get a bigger picture. There we go. Is It looks like several different clocks. He has some color in it, which is new for Ronnie. Uh, it's 275 wide by 178 high, so pretty big. Um, but that's As Time Flies by Ronnie Rowe Designs. Next up is Autumn Cloche by Hello from Liz Matthews. Oh, that's pretty too. I've been eyeing her, uh, what is it, the butterfly cloche? I don't have yet, but I've been eyeing it. Uh, so this is the autumn cloche, which makes me think she will come out with uh, seasonal cloches. Cloche eye? Cloches. <laughs> Next up, we have autumn colors, design number 89 by Bendy Stitchy. This says, autumn colors don't just fall, they fly. So that's a cute little piece. Uh, 60 by 60 so it is tiny and it looks like she's called for uh, cottage garden thread packs which is nice um, and you can get those on Garon as well Autumn Crow by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery so this is a cute little autumnal piece we're starting to think about autumn that's 60 by 60 just a cute little piece only five dollars Next up, we have Autumn Delight by Needle Bling Designs. And there's a beautiful pumpkin that says Autumn. When you click on the larger image, they do get a little blurry. So, um, But the smaller pictures are, are very um, easy to see. So if you go on this website looking for something, um, don't worry about that at all. Um, next up, we have Autumn Garden Collaboration MTV Cross Stitch Designs. Autumn Garden Collaboration. Look at that. That's beautiful. Autumn Garden, it says. So you have a needle book, a pocket, a pin cushion. Some some specialty nun stitch. I don't know what that is, but you can do it, I'm sure. That's cute. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell at you. Um, this is the Autumn Garden Thread Pack. Um this goes with the Bendy Stitchy design, so you get that thread pack. Very nice. And you could just order the thread pack without the, uh, this is by Cottage Garden Threads. Um, you could just order the thread pack if you think, oh, I, I have a different piece I'd like to use for this, or just add it to my stash for some autumn colors. So no one says you have to stitch the piece, right? You can just buy the thread pack. And um, as you know, I am a member of their Cottage Garden Threads uh, uh Threads of the Month Club, and I love it. It's so much fun. Next up is Autumn Gratitude by Scissor Tail Designs. And it's a little pumpkin, very cute, darling little piece. It says thankful, and then a smaller little pillow. Scissor Tail Designs, it is called Autumn Gratitude. Next up, we have Autumn House on a Hill. This is by Tiny Martin. Ma Tiny modernist and this is also using the autumn garden palette by cottage uh, cottage garden threads so that's fun so you have your little house on a hill very nice next up uh, autumn in a pot sewing box this is also by MTV cross stitch designs uh, and it's like oh that's cute and it looks like this would fold down um, into something. Let's see if we find information. There are 
uh, beads in it. I, I, I can't tell um, what it folds down to, but there's a pin cushion and then maybe like a so Oh, it's a sewing box, I guess. I guess that's the sewing box. So it probably you can fit your needles in there, maybe some floss, that type of thing. Cute. Next up is Autumn on the Square by Scissor Tail Designs. So you get three little patterns, very cute. Cute little, these were great, great, great for smalls. Uh, if you're going to a, um, a retreat sometime this fall, those would be good. Next up is Autumn Provides by Summer House Stitch Works. And Autumn Provides, beautiful. It's just Stitch and DMC. Next up is Autumn Puns by Stitchy Pros. So it says Gourd Vibes Only. That's cute. This says Shiitake Happens. That's cute. This is a contribution for the Autumn Garden Collaboration comprising of 25 designers. It is also the first pattern in my pun series. Two pun designs releasing together as one pattern. Okay, so there must be um, the Autumn Garden collaboration. I'm wondering if they are all using the Autumn Garden palette by Cottage Garden Threads. I'm assuming that's um, what is going on here. So you can buy that thread pack and then, um, you know, it will work for any of these 25 uh, designs from different designers. I'm learning as we go, folks. Thanks for hanging with me. Autumn Scissor Fob by MTV Cross Stitch Design. So that's really cute. Scissor Fob. Next up is Autumn Set of Three Pins, also by MTV Cross Stitch Designs. Next up, we have Autumn's Hymn by The Blue Flower. It says, Go sit upon the lofty hill and turn your eyes around where waving woods and waters wild do him and autumn sound that's very pretty great autumn piece next up is oh we're in the bees <laughs> b hollander 1845 by works by abc and so this is another sampler beautiful beautiful Every schoolgirl sampler has its own unique qualities, and B. Hollander's is no different. If you look closely, there is something different on that first line right below the top border. This is one of the few samplers known to have been stitched by a Jewish girl based on the inclusion of the Hebrew alphabet at the top. Information about the language is included with the pattern. The sampler is in the collection of the National Museum of American History. Part of the Smithsonian is being reproduced with their permission. So again, you can see the Hebrew alphabet up here up at the top. Very special. That's such a unique piece. Next up is Baby Girl Heart by St St Stitching Jewels Designs. I saw her working on this on her floss tube. And that would be easy enough to change the colors to anything you want to go with the baby's room. Here's Baby, uh, baby Baseball by Ronnie Rowe Designs. So that is a really cool piece if you have a, a baseball fan in your life. By Ronnie Rowe. Next is Bathing in the Asters by Lindy Stitches. That's really cute. So cute. Bathing in the Asters by Lindy Stitches. Next up we have Bella by Ori TM. So you got some Quakers with little, well, I guess they're not really Quakers, um, but they are beautiful little pieces with images inside. It's called Bella by Ori TM. Next up is Betsy's Autumn Basket by Pansy Patch Quilts and Designs. Wow, look at that beautiful um, basket of flowers. Really pretty. Four, oh, this is the second in the series. There'll be four total. See, collect them all. Next up is Betsy's Summer Basket. Oh, see, here's your summer one. Really pretty colors. 
also by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. So Summer Basket, and those two, I guess, are out. Better Than My Brother, this is by Kesslins, and it says, Dear Santa, I was better than my brother. Cute, cute, cute. I like how they have that finished in a tray. Next up is Betty Sumner, 1822. This is by Red Barn Samplers, and it's probably a reproduction. She was 10 years old when she did this. And it says, do everything in its proper time. Keep everything to its proper use. Put everything in its proper place. Ask not riches, wealth, or honor, but ask wisdom and knowledge for thyself, and God shall supply all thy need. Betsy Sumner, age 10, 1822, Latham School, Gratitude. Beautiful piece. Betsy Sumner, 1822. Next up is Birdhouse with Sunflowers. This is by Twin Peak Primitives. So this is kind of a, again, a very Americana piece, but so darling. So, so cute. Birdhouse with Sunflowers by Twin Peak Primitives. Next up is Birthday Cakes 200 by uh, Quaker Style by RATM. How cute is that? I might have to write that one down. Yeah, I'm going to have to write that one down, folks. I really love that. Birthday Cakes 200 Quaker Style by Ori, uh, Ori TM. And keep in mind, so in uh, Garan has released their 2023 focus on a designer um, list. So Ori TM is one of the designers that we'll be focusing on next year. I can't remember which month, but I don't think I have any Ori TM, so that would be a good piece. Join me. <laughs> next up is Black Cat Needle Minder. Oh, that's darling. Um, this is by MTV Cross Stitch Designs. I'm writing that one down. I mean, there's no even question, right, about it. Okay, Black Cat Needle Minder. Next up is Blessed Beyond Measure, or Blessed Beyond Measure, uh, Sweet, Sweet Wing Studio. So Blessed Beyond Measure, really cute, lots of little motifs. You could even pull out those little motifs for a card or a small or a fob even, a uh, scissor fob. That would be really cute. A lot you can do with this piece. Next is Blue Christmas by Kesslins. Oh, that's pretty. And I bet you could change the colors if you didn't want it to be blue. <laughs> Very pretty. Very unique design. Next up is Blue Lily Scissor Fob. This is by MTV Cross Stitch Designs. Another scissor fob. Very pretty. Next up is Blue Lily Set of Three Pins by MTV Cross Stitch Designs. Those are really pretty. Next up is Blue Lily Sewing Set. So I guess, oh, I guess the fob and the pins go with this. Blue Lily Sewing Set. Let's get a closer look. Oh, that's darling. So you get a pin cushion and I am assuming a needle book. Yeah, very cute. Blue Lily. Next up is Blue Birds and Blue Bell Sampler by Pangee Patch Quilts and Stitchery. Look at that. It says Blue Birds and Blue Bells fill a garden with joy and love fills a home with happiness. Look at that. That is beautiful. It's 251 by 332. Um, she stitched on 36 count marbled pointer by Exju Designs. That's a huge piece, but it's beautiful. Bluebirds and Bluebells Sampler for you sampler people out there. Next up is Boat by the Pier by Ronnie Rowe Designs. Very cool. It's 215 wide by 140 high. 
It's interesting that he's adding some color into his pieces. I think he did last year as well. This is called Boo to You by Puccini Puccini. Very cute. And up here you can see it says Boo to You. But it's not too spooky. Not too sp I like Halloween that's not spooky. This really spooky stuff spooks me out. <laughs> this is Bridget Cleary by The Primitive Hair. Printed picture on fabric included in the pattern. Oh, okay. So you get the fabric with the printed picture on it, and then you do the stitching around it. Are you a witch, or are you a fairy, or are you the wife of Michael Clary? So I don't know the background of that. Um, yeah, interesting. Brings Joy by Frog Cottage Designs. My needle and thread brings me joy. Cute piece for your stitching spot or your craft room. Brown Fish Owl by Kathy Barrick. And here it says Brown Fish Owl. You have the alphabet stitched by my hand, Margaret Emery, in 1807, but it doesn't say how old she was when she stitched it. That's a lot of stitching in that owl. That's a lot of stitching. <laughs> Next up is Bumble Bear by the Blue Flower. Oh my gosh. He's dressed, it's a bear that's dressed up for Halloween as a bee. So cute. Bumble Bear. Next up is Bury Me With My Needle by Lindy Stitches. This says, bury me with my needle, some linen in my hand. For I would not be idle when I reach the promised land. And she's in her coffin with her stitching. Kind of sad and depressing, kind of cool. <laughs> Next up is Button Your Lip by Silver Creek Samplers. Before you let unkind words slip, grab a button and button your lip. Oh, that's cute. So they put it on their button jar. Very cute. Uh, Silver Creek Samplers is also one of the uh, Focus on a Designer months for next year with Garan. I, again, I can't remember what what month it is. All right, we're into the C's now. Oh, oh, here's a new one by Rosewood Manor. Camberley Sampler. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Okay, we're writing this down. I can't resist Rosewood Manor. Uh, Camberley sampler see this is fun because you can write down the same ones i do and then we can encourage each other to start them right sells all year long so camberley sampler it's 244 by 244 that is gorgeous 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 next up is oh carolyn's balloons autumn <laughs> um by Jan Hicks of Jan Hicks Creates. So you have, if you watch my floss tubes, you have seen me working on this one. I um, in, am working on this balloon right here. Uh, this is, <laughs> I made Jan design it for me, made her, forced her. Um, this is called Carolyn's Balloons. Um, I told Jan I wanted balloons. I wanted a design with hot air balloons with Quakers inside them. And so this is what she came up with. I love it. This is the autumn one. She is going to release the other seasons at some point in time. No pressure, Jan. Um, but yes, so I already have this one. Otherwise, I would write it down. But it's called Carolyn's Balloons Autumn by Jan Hicks Creates. This is the first in a seasonal series, charted in Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works, and Gentle Arts. And there is a DMC provided. She has stitched it on a 46 count. I am not stitching on a 46 count. I am stitching mine on a 32 count. So mine will be bigger, but that's okay. Carolyn's Balloons Autumn. Next up is Catherine Croft 1828 by the Scarlet House. So it looks like you get this little pillow. That's cute. Uh, a little um, scissor fob, a berry. I'm assuming this is a needle book. And I think you get the sampler. Oh, a 19 by 27 cut of linen will work for all pieces. Instructions and templates are included. So yeah, you get all of those. This is Catherine Croft, 1828 by the Scarlet House. Next up is Celtic Pumpkin by Franny Ritter Designs. Very cute.
Next up is Christmas Alphabet Letters. This is by Rami's Creations. So you, this is O and P. And I'm not sure if these, I assume you get both of these in one because um, it says O and P. O is for ornaments, P is for presents. So this could be a really cute little, um, you know, if you collect them all for Christmas, you could turn it into an advent calendar, right? Like where you, I don't know, put a pocket on the back of these and put a little treat inside or um, and have the kids find the alphabets in a row. You can make a banner. You could spell out something. A lot you can do with this one. I like that one a lot. Next up is Christmas alphabets. Oh, Q and R. So here's the Q and R by Rami's Creations. Q is for quince. I'm not familiar with that. <laughs> R is for Rudolph. I'm sure you will let me know what quince is or if I'm pronouncing that right. My brain wanted to say quiche, but it's not quiche. <laughs> but Q and R is also available. S and T is also available. S is for Santa and T is for toys. These are really darling. Again, so much you can do with these, right? You can just pull out this little ball for something that you, if you just need a ball or the ice skates. Very, very versatile patterns, right? You just have to think creatively um, and, uh, about it and see what you can pull out of the designs. Next up is Christmas Angel's Heart by Serenita de Campania. This is beautiful. Um, if you like angels... Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And the candles up here, did you see that? Very pretty. Christmas Angel's Hearts by Serenita de Campania. Next up is Christmas Blessing by Erica Michaels. And it says, May peace and plenty be the first to lift the latch on your door and happiness be guided to your home by the candle of Christmas. Very pretty. Christmas Blessing by Erica Michaels. Next up is Christmas in the Country Set 1 by Annie B's Folk Art. These are gift tag ornaments. Look at how cute that sleigh filled with presents. Santa in a chimney. And then this one simply says Merry Christmas. These are darling. 25 count raw Dublin linen using a combination of over dyed floss and DMC 2 over 2. I might have to write that one down because that is so darling. Christmas in the Country, set one by Annie B's. Again, there's so much you can do with these. Christmas in the Country, set two. So set two, we have a snowman, we have a little red truck, cut and carry, and we have a wagon. These are cute too, but I think I like set one a little bit better. So I'm not going to write down this one, but these are cute too. Next up, we have Christmas Magic by Erica Michaels. Moments, this says Moments Memory Magic in uh, what looks like white with these cute ornaments. Christmas Magic by Erica Michaels. It is 60 wide by 178 high, so it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was, like longer anyway. Next up is by Fairy Wool in the Wood, Christmas Mug and One Candy Cane Charm and Two Bells Included. That's darling. Isn't that cute? Hot cocoa. Very, very cute. Here's your candy cane charm. Can anyone see where the bells are on this piece? Oh, up here. There's a bell and a bell up at the top. I mean, you can put them wherever you want. But Very cute. Christmas mug by Fairy Wool in the Wood. Next up is, uh-oh. Christmas Party by Stitching Jewels Design. I said, oh, because I kind of love this. Merry Christmas. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm writing this down. I'm writing down everything I want now. Um, I don't necessarily buy it all. You know, I see, you know, how much, how much it's going to cost, right? Um, and then decide from there. Christmas Party Designs. 
This looks like it's full coverage. 230 by 280 by Stitching Jewel Designs. Next up is Christmas Snow Globe three-part series, part one by Tiny Modernist. So it looks like it's a mystery cell uh, of a snow globe. So you can see kind of the image there. This is part one, which is the snow globe. Next up is Christmas Snow Ornament Kit. This is limited edition by Praiseworthy Stitches. Very cute little snowflake. Uh, limited edition kit. Okay, so you get the kit. It comes packaged with the wooden ornament mount, metal ornament hanger. Materials used include cotton floss, linen, trim, ribbon, and more. All materials and complete finishing instructions are, are included. So you get everything to finish this. So that's really fun. Limited edition though. Once it's gone, it's gone. Christmas Snowflake by Kesslins. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Look at those specialty stitches. That's really pretty. Stitch with just two colors of cotton floss or silks. Gorgeous. I might have to write that one down too. <laughs> Christmas Snowflake by Kesslins. The, the specialty stitches kind of intimidate me a little, but I love the effect that they give. All right, next up is Christmas Tree Truck by Annabelle's. So it says farm fresh Christmas trees, pine, spruce, fir, cut and carry, established 1925. Christmas Simple Small, as it's called. 28 count white glue. It's 64 wide by 44 high, give or take one stitch. So it must be a series, I'm assuming. Christmas Tree Truck. Very cute. Next up is Christmas Trio by Frog Cottage Designs. You get Noel, Mary, and Christmas. Darling. Next, you get Christmas with Friends. This is cute by Kesslins. This is a cute little piece. So it spells out Christmas, and then you have your angel, you have Santa, a penguin. There's a toy soldier. You got a lot to look at in here. That's really cute. I've never seen anything like that. Very cute. Next up is Chrysanthemum, <laughs> Chrysanthemum House by Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. Often I can pronounce that word, but I'm having trouble today. Um, so that's really cute. Very, um, very autumnal. I'm feeling it. Pan Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. Chrysanthemum House. Next up is Coffee Definitions Decaf by Ori TM. <laughs> Decaf. Why? <laughs> That's cute. Next up, Coffee Definitions Depresso, also by Ori TM. Depresso, the feeling you get when you run out of coffee. Cute. Next up is Coffee or Wine Today by New York Dreamer. And it says, give me coffee to change the things I can and wine to accept the things I can't. Funny. Coffee and wine. What else do we need, right? Next up is Conundrum by Rosewood Manor. Oh, dear. <laughs> this is really interesting. I think I'm going to hold off writing it down, but isn't that interesting? I love that. Any, any puzzling question or problem, you select the fabric and floss colors for this amazing piece. So she's not going to tell you yeah, she's not going to tell you fabric or floss. Several suggestions for fabric in the booklet, plus three smalls and a conundrum compass design. This is by Rosewood Manor called Conundrum. Fun. Next up is Cookies for Santa by Needle Bling Designs. I'm assuming you don't actually get cookies with it, but you get this cute piece, Cookies for Santa. Mm, I want cookies now. Next up is Cool Sailor and Thread Sailor by Rami's Creations. Oh my, by, this is by Fairy Wool in the Wood. This is, <laughs> he's just funny. He's a cool sailor and it says C. He's all buff. He has his tattoo, his pipe. This is cool. Very fun. Next, we have Country Music by Fairy Wool in the Wood. 
uh, for you country music fans out there. I've never seen a country music design before. So this is fun. So it says country music on kind of a, well, it looks like a wagon to me, but I think it's probably just a sign. And then you have your country dancers and your um, band. Very cool. It's by Fairy Wood in the Fairy Wool in the Wood. It's 107 wide by 170 high. That's cute. Next up is Cowboy by Stitching Jewels Designs. She just finished this on her on her um, class too. That's cool. She does a lot of very unique designs that you don't see everywhere. Next up is Cozy by Hello from Liz Matthews. Look at that. I love how I love that finish with the fringe and just it's just a sweet little piece, isn't it? Cozy by Hello from Liz Matthews. Cozy is one of my favorite words too because it makes me feel cozy. This is by Puccini Puccini, who is another one of the, the um, 2023 Garon Focus on a Designer's Designer. This is called Craft Supplies and Other Lies. I will not buy craft supplies this month and other lies I tell myself. That's cute. So if you need a Puccini Puccini um, piece, that's a good one. That's a good one. Next. Creme de Menthe Fabric. This is by Needle Bling Designs. Uh, and here you can see the different, they have 28, 32 or 36, 40 count, 46, 14 count ADA, 16 or 18 count ADA. And you can see your price um, for how much cut, how big of a cut you want and what size of fabric you want. But um, that's creme de menthe fabric. Beautiful. That'd be a good one for a lot of Christmas designs, I think, that color. Next is Cut and Carry Christmas by Annabella's. This looks like another one in the series, Cut and Carry Christmas Trees. Very cute. Next up is Dance to the Music. This is by Kesslins. This is beautiful. Beautiful. You have a dancer in your life? You need this. Um, it is, yeah, it's on a musical sheet on parchment linen from Fabric Flare. So the music notes are on the linen. Um, you don't stitch those. Okay? Just make sure you know that. Dance to the Music by Kesslins. Next up is Day Signs. This is an exclusive design many by uh, Tiny Modernist. So let's take a look. Okay, these are really, really cute. Look at these. Look at that llama. I love him. And the rainbow. The mountains. I love that. This is very um, southwest to me. Um, called Day Signs. Love that. Next up is Dear Diary. Along with it, you get also get a sheet of stickers. Fairy fairy wool in the wood. Dear Diary. So you got a book. Um, here's your set of stickers. Kind of some mushrooms and gnome. All that good stuff. Dear Diary by Fairy Wool in the Wood. Next up, we have Don't Stop Believing by Barefoot Needle Art. And this is a Christmas piece, Don't Stop Believing. Uh, look at all those really pretty snowflakes. Very cute. You could do this on a um, ir or, uh, fabric, uh, what are they, uh, opalescent fabric. You could put like a bead or like a charm for the star. Uh, use... Um, sparkly thread if you wanted to. There's a lot you could do with this to bling it up too. Don't Stop Believing by Barefoot Needle Art. Next up is Down the Fireplace. This is by Serenita de Campagna. Santa Claus going down the down the chimney there. Look at that white owl. So pretty. That's a really cute piece. Next up is Dutch 1808 Sampler by From the Heart. Look at that beautiful, beautiful piece. I love that. I love the blues in that. Very nice. Next up is Dutch Mini Sampler, also from From the Heart. So if you didn't want to do the whole thing, you could do a mini sampler. These are look like different images, though, different colors used. Dutch Mini Sampler by From the Heart. 
This is called E.E.'s e. Little Sampler by Little Robin Designs. We saw this one earlier on the other Little Robin's Designs, but this is very cute. The little bird. Next up is Ebb and Flow by Carriage House Samplings. Oh, that's not very big. <laughs> We're better off with this one. Uh, so Ebb and Flow, Carriage House Samplings. So it looks like it's a sea-themed piece, which makes sense by the title. Next up is Egg in a Bowl by Carriage House Samplings. So salt and pepper, toast, bite size, that's cute. And then an egg on her head, <laughs> that's cute. Egg in a Bowl by Carriage House Samplings. Next up is Elizabeth Zebley and Accessories by Old Willow Stitchery. Now look at this piece, this is kind of hard to see is bright orange fabric. Um, I can't read this. This is just in the year of 1821. I'm not sure what it says, um, but that is gorgeous. Okay, so the chart includes the sampler itself. You get a pin cushion, sewing case, and pin keep. You also get a complete history of Elizabeth and her ancestors. They do not say the size. So... It'll, it'll be a surprise. Elizabeth Zebley and Accessories by Old Willow Stitchery. Next up is Ellen Kinghot's English Sewing Book Wisdom and Honor Samplers. This is by Cross Stitch Antiques. So this is a reproduction. Very beautiful. Very beautiful designs there. The antique cross Cross stitch only over two threads throughout with hem stitched border on 32 count linen. No providence could be found about Ellen herself, so we don't know much about her, but that's beautiful. Ellen Kingcott's English Sewing Book by Cross Stitch Antiques. Next up is Emo Birds by Lindy Stitches. And it's your, um, oh, what are those? I know, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um... Oh my gosh, it's on the tip of I know you're all yelling at me. Um, it's gone. <laughs> Emo birds. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. That's going to bother me. By Lindy Stitches. Esmeralda's Academy of Charms by Praiseworthy Stitches. Look at this. Hocus Pocus. Look at this Halloween piece. With all the little trick-or-treaters in there. There's a wagon with a cat in it. Look at the cats flying on broomsticks all over. That's a really fun piece. 268 wide by 180 high. Not small. Um, and they have a lot of called for floss. Esmeralda's Academy of Charms by Praiseworthy Stitches. Next up is Esther Canton, 1834 by Old Willow Stitchery. And it says, advice, learn to... Condemn all praise. I'm sorry, it's it's a little blurry, so I'm having a hard time reading it. Sorry about that. I can't I can't really see it very well. A former teaching piece chart that includes a detail of the outline of the flowers in the pot. Okay. Esther Can Canton, 1834 by Old Willow Stitchery. Next up is ET1855 by Old Willow Stitchery. Look at these beautiful colors. You can see here ET1855. Beautiful reproduction samplers is what these are. Love the colors in that one. This one is Every Knitter by October House Fiber Arts. Behind every great knitter is a huge pile of yarn. That's really darling. That's super cute. Next up is Every Little Thing by Amy Brooken Designs. Every little thing's going to be all right. Super sweet. I like that font, too. Next up is Ice Cream Kit by Satsuma Street. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the eyeball. So this is a good Halloween ice cream ornament. You get the perforated paper, the floss, bead, sequins, needle, and finishing directions. Ice Cream Kit by Satsuma Street. 
Next up is Fall into Autumn Linen by Manny Didana. That's a beautiful piece. Again, um, oh, it's only in 32 count, 13 by 17 piece. Beautiful, though. Next up is Falling Leaves by The Mindful Needle. This is another one. Oh, that doesn't help. This is another one with that Cottage Garden Threads pack that you can get. And look at that. It's, oh, I literally like that. Falling Leaves um, Autumn Garden Palette. Um, it's like a tree with a basket. I'm going to add that to my list, too, because I really like that. I think it's really sweet. All right, so next we have Fat Pants by Dirty Annie's. And it says, Happy Thanksgiving. Get your fat, pa fat pants ready. Again, a lot of really cute little tiny motifs um, to get you ready for Thanksgiving. Fat Pants. Fat Pants. I don't know why it's so hard for me to say. By Dirty Annie's. Next up is Felice Naughty Dog <laughs> by Dirty Annie's. And get it? Felice Naughty Dog. Felice Naughty Dog. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. That's really cute. You get the star button, too, for the tree in that uh, chart. Next up is Flowers for All Aud Autumn Garden by Little Stitch Girl. This is another one that uses that thread pack. So you get that cute little design. And these are small designs, so I'm sure you could use, you know, stitch multiple ones um, from that thread pack. Multiple charts. Flowers for Fall Autumn Garden by Little Stitch Girl. Next up is Flowers for the Fall by Works by ABC, another one of the collaborations. So that's really pretty. Beautiful flowers, little pillow they made. Next up is Flying Powder by Serenita de Campagna. Flying Powder. That's cute. And it says Flying Powder on there. Getting ready for Christmas Eve. Flying Powder by Serenita de Campagna. Next up is For a Friend. This is by Hello from Liz Matthews. Look at that sweet piece. Very cute. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Next up is Four Unto Us by Silver Creek Samplers. Four Unto Us, A Child is Born. Great Christmas piece. Beautiful. Next up is Forest Path by Ink Circles. So you can see the little um, deer in there and kind of the maze sort of kind of Celtic looking to me Forest Path by Ink Circles next up is Founding of America by Twin Peaks Primitives uh, they do do a lot of Americana so this one is really pretty um, really pretty with that border and very uh, detailed lots of stitching in that let's see if they just say how big it is they don't but um, lots of stitching, but it will be beautiful when it's done. Founding of America by Twin Peaks, Twin Peak Primitives. Next up is Foul Language by Meridian Designs. It says fluent in foul language with a couple of chickens. Chicken and rooster. Very cute. Next up is Fragments in Time. This is number seven by Summerhouse Stitch Works. And number seven in the series is coming out. So there's your little, little piece there. Next up is Fragments in Time 2022, number eight. So there's number eight is coming out as well. The bird. Next up is French Bulldog by Stitching Jewels Designs. Uh, so if you have a Frenchie or know somebody who has a Frenchie, this is perfect for you. French Bulldog. Next up is Friendship Gives Wings by Twin Peak Primitives. It says, Friendship Gives Wings to the Heart. And you got some sheep to stitch. You got a house to stitch. A little windmill. This is really cute. I like the colors. I really like these um, flowers up there. 
very pretty. Friendship Gives Wings by Twin Peak Corner Nose. Next up is Fright Night by Pixel Pixie Stitch. This is a cute little Halloween stitch. I like the, the green, Gary Green there. Next up is From Such Small Seeds by Ink Circles. This is cute. Okay, and this is another one using that thread pack. Look at that. I love the colors in that. This thread pack is going to be very versatile. From Smudge, Smudge, Such Small Seeds by Ink Circles. Next up is Fun Guy Kit by Suma Street. This is another kit where you get the perforated paper and the threads and um, the little buttons. He is fun. Fun guy. Get it? He has mushrooms growing out of him. Very cute. Next up is Garden of Zig by Ink Circles. Oh dear, I love that. Look at those colors. So pretty. Beautiful. Oh, the Cottage Garden Thread Pack um, for Garden of Zig. There's a thread pack that goes along with it. Next up is Garden of Zig Thread Pack. Um, this is $32.50 for all the threads you need for that piece. Beautiful. Next up is Garden Sampler by Carriage House Samplings. We have a pumpkin, a watermelon, an eggplant. There's a little frog. Uh, just lots of little motifs in there with your alphabet. So really unique piece. Garden Sampler by Carriage House Samplings. Next up is Gathering Together by The Scarlet House. And it says Gathering Together as Friends. I think this is such a beautiful piece to um, take to a retreat. Um, and like candy from the 614 stitcher had people stitch on a piece. You could have your friends stitch on it and pass it around at the retreat. Gathering together. I like that. By the Scarlet House. Oops. So next up we have Ghost Crossing by Serenita de Campania. And it says Beware Ghost Crossing. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Great Halloween piece though. Next up, we have Ghosts and Bats Biscornu. This is by Praiseworthy Stitches. So the, the bottom says boo to you. That's cute. Um, and then you have the little ghosties on top. Very cute. Next up is Gingerbread Smalls by Twin Peak Primitives. So you get in the pattern, you get all of these smalls which are really, really cute. Some gingerbread houses, a camper, a little choo-choo train, the carousel, very pretty. You get all of those. Next up is Gobble by Stitchy Pros. Gobble till you wobble. A little knife and fork with the turkey. <laughs> Perfect for Thanksgiving. Next up is Gold Bouillon by Ronnie Rowe. So you have your gold there, I think. Gold Bouillon by Ronnie Rowe. It's 231 wide by 157 high. Next up is Good Shepherd Sampler by Annie B's, Annie B's Folk Art. Folk Art, yes. <laughs> Um, it says, I am the good shepherd. I know mine and mine know me. Um, with the house and the hill. I'm not sure I read that right. Again, it's hard for me to see. Good Shepherd Sampler by Annie B's folks. Very cute. Next up is Goodness Gracious by Sweet, Sweet Wing Studio. Goodness Gracious that huge pumpkin and the lady trying to, I don't know, she um, harvesting it or trying to pull it to the fair or something. I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. That's really cute. Goodness gracious. Next up is Gracious Words by My Big Toe. It says, Gracious words are as honeycomb, sweet to the soul, health to the body. It's Proverbs. Gracious words, words by My Big Toe. 
Next up is Grateful by Glendon Place. Family for friends, Thanksgiving, loved ones, memories. So it's just kind of words. I think I don't think it has a saying. I think it's just words. Great. Oh, Grateful for family, friends, loved ones, memories, Thanksgiving. I'm here, folks. <laughs> Next up is Green Door by Ronnie Rowe Designs. Again, adding some color into his designs, which is great. Green Door. Next up is Halloween Feather Tree by Little Robin Designs. Again, we saw this one earlier. Halloween Feather Tree. Very cute. Perfect for Halloween, of course. Next up is Halloween Candy. Halloween Candy is Spooktacular. This is by Needle Bling Designs. Cute. That's perfect to hang out on your door, a door in your house or something like that, or on a doorknob, you know what I mean? Next up is Halloween Crystal Ball Series Part 3. Uh, I'm not sure who this is by, um, but it's, a, you know, the mystery piece, Part 3. Next up, you get Halloween Frill by Heart and Hand. So you have a little ghosty, a little witchy, and a house. Oh, look at that spider on the house right there. Spooky. That's really cute. Halloween Frill by Heart and Hand. Next up is Halloween Hammock by Barefoot Needle Art. Look at this. This witch is taking a break. That's so funny. There's her broom. And there's a little crab and a starfish, and she's on a tropical island, which is really funny. Barefoot Needle Art, Halloween Hammock. Next up is Halloween House Scissors Case by Rami's Collection. You get the chart with finishing info and little ghost charm needle minder included. So let's take a closer look. There's a little ghost peeking out the window. Look at him. A little ghost peeking out the window. And I think you get the little ghost charm. And I assume you get these, but maybe not. I'm not sure. Look at him. He's holding a pumpkin. How cute is he? Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. That's a darling piece. Halloween house scissors. Oh, those are your scissors. I'm with you. Okay. So this is a pocket. The do front door is a pocket, and those are your scissors, I assume, that you put in there. Halloween Labels by Serenita de Campania. So these are just little labels. Dragon Fire, Poison, Potion of Death, Rotting Pumpkin, Black Cat Fur. So just little tiny labels. Halloween Labels by Serenita de Campania. She has a lot of them this year. Halloween Life by Serenita de Campania. We have Sleep Potion. Look, I love that little girl. And then Trick or Treat. Very cute. Halloween Life. Next up is Halloween Parade Series. This is Creepy by Manny Didana. Um, they all float down here is what it says. Oh, that's the creepy clown with the red balloons. I don't watch scary movies. I know that's from a scary movie and I don't like it. So I'm going to go on to the next one. <laughs> Halloween Parade Series. This is Spooky by Mani Didana. And this is, yep, spooky. These are spooky. Um, I mean, it, it warned me, right? It's called Spooky. This one is called Wicked. This one isn't as spooky to me. She's just kind of cute. And look, the potion makes a heart. How spooky can that be? That's Wicked. This one is Boo by Mani Didana again. Black, cat, black cats do not scare me. <laughs> That's cute. Next up is Halloween Puns by Stitchy Prose. Oh, those are cute. It says Shake Poor Booty. Cute. Halloween Puns by Stitchy Prose. Next up is Halloween Scissors Sampler by Nikki's Creations. So you see these, this is a pair of scissors. It says Happy Halloween. Some spiders hanging off of it. 
cute. Nikki's creations. These designers are getting so clever with with their you know how they're um, with their designs. This is by, called Halloween Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. This is really cute. Some buttons in there. Really cute piece. Halloween Tiny Town by Heart and Hand. Next up is Halloween Tree by Rami's Creations. So, uh, very cute tree with all the little Halloween doodads on it. Your witch's hat, your ghost, your spider, your pumpkin, your black cat. There's a little banner that says boo. Cute. Halloween Tree by Rami's Creations. Next up is Halloween Vampire by Serenita de Campania. Look at that. He's not too scary. He's kind of cute, I think. Halloween Vampire. Ooh. That's a cute one. She has been busy. <laughs> uh, this is Halloween Witch by Serenita de Campania. Halloween Witch. This is a really cute one. Really cute. I like that one. Look at the little... I think that's a black cat in there. I'm telling myself it's a black cat in there. Next up is hand painted wooden uh, frame used for all the patterns of this collaborative project because they are all 60 by 60. So that's cool that you get a frame and it's shaped like a leaf. Next up is Happy Christmas by Kathy Barrick. And it says, wrought with needle, with a needle in my hand, December 25th, 1834, Sophia Jane Minor. Happy Christmas to all. That's cute. Look at all those snowflakes in the background. Happy Christmas by Kathy Barrick. Next up is Happy Fall, Y'all by Thistles. And it's a scarecrow and a pumpkin patch. Cute little piece. Next up is Happy Halloween Mini by Serenita de Campania. And this is just like a little mini. It says Happy Halloween, which is a cute little um, Halloween piece. It would be cute like little pillow or, again, to hang from your door. A doorknob or something around your house around Halloween. Next up is Halloween Happy Halloween Tree, Serenita de Campania. So it's a trio of pieces. So you have a tree with pumpkins. You have a little piece just simply says happy halloween which i like that one a lot and then you have a little witch those are pretty cute actually next up is happy skeleton by rami's creations so it's two different pieces i bet you could attach them somehow and have them hang together you know what i mean and looks like there's little bells on it too Very cute. Next up is Harvest Home Country by October House Fiber Arts. So here's two little pillows or smalls that you can make with your Harvest House. Very cute. Perfect for fall. Harvest Home Country by October House Fiber Arts. Next up is Harvest Home Town by October, October House Fiber Arts. So... Same idea, different little homes. Really cute. This is Harvest Night Linen by Manny Didana. Uh, this is a 32 count linen, gray with a touch of orange, and it's a 13 by 17 piece. That'll be great for your Halloween um, stitches. Harvest Night Pin Set by Manny Didana. I have to take a drink real quick. Haunted Casket Kit, very limited in stock by Praiseworthy Stitches. So um, you get this kit. It's like a coffin and um, a little stitching piece. As with everything, the cost for the wooden caskets has gone up, so we've had to raise our price. The kit comes packaged in an unfinished wooden casket, which lights up and gives an eerie glow. I actually bought this last year. Um, it's really cute. Haunted Casket Kit by Praiseworthy Stitches. If you want it, you need to, to get on it really quickly. This is Haunted Hearse Kit by Satsumistry. Again, another kit that includes everything you need to stitch it. 
Next up is Haunted House by Thistles. If you hear that cat in the background, that is Jack coming to say hi now. Uh, that's a really cute piece. I love the purple fabric that it's stitched on. Haunted House by Thistles. Next up, we have another Haunted House by Stitching Jewels Designs. So this is a black and white one, I think. Very spooky. Very That's a very creepy one. Uh, 230 by 370. DMC as listed on chart. Haunted House by Stitching Jewels Designs. Next up is Haunted House Keychain Kit by Fairy Wool in the Wood. So you get the kit. Uh, oh, look at that. That's cool. So I assume you get everything you need because it's a kit. Keychain claps, felt, lilac, polka dot bat for the back, key charm, and ribbon. So you get everything you need. Haunted House Keychain Kit by Fairy Wool in the Wood. Next up is Haunted Mansion Design Number 70 by Bendy Stitchy. So look at those fun colors that she uses and uh, the Lady in the Moon. Very fun piece. Haunted Mansion by Bendy Stitchy. You're going to have to keep all your, your haunted pieces uh, together or keep them straight with the designer. This is I Love Cross Stitch Heart by Serenita de Campania. Um, and it has like little ABC. That's really cute. I love the little girl. I'm going to have to write this one down. I have some ideas of maybe just doing the little girl um, and not doing the, the whole, you know, heart around it, but we'll see. We'll see if it makes the final cut, right? And she has so many at this Needlework Expo, we've got to order at least one of hers, right? All right, next up is Hearts of Halloween. Okay, so this, this is cute. This is cute. Okay. So again, she's same idea, um, just different little witch, very cute. So by Serenita de Campania. This is Hearts of Thanksgiving. Very cute. I like the suit. You know I like the seasonal ones. This is Hearts Santa Claus. That's cute too. Little Santa carrying a tree and some other goodies. And I like this part down here as well. Hearts Santa Claus. Next up is Heather Brown by Frog Cottage Designs. Heather Brown 1905. Always in my heart, this one says. With love. And then this is the, the larger one. I like the trim that they did, that they finished those pillows on. It's a park bench there. Heather Brown, 1905 by Frog Cottage Designs. Next up is Hello Halloween Book by Teresa Kogut. And so this is just like lots of different um, motifs there. Really cute. Oh, you get 11 designs. Six are past Patreon designs and five are brand new. This book is full of color, including the charts. So there's Halloween Sampler... There's a chart called Spooky, Black Cat Broom Company, Onward Black Kitty, The Good Witch, Prim Witch, Vintage Cats, Witches Lean, Hello Moon, Witchy Stardust. So you get a lot in here. So it's a whole Halloween book by Teresa Kogut. Very fun. Next up is Hit the Road Series, Salem Express by T Twin Peak Primitives. That's really cute. Look at all the ghosties and the witch going off to haunt um, haunt people for Halloween. Next up is Hocus Pocus by Luminous Fiber Arts. Cute, not scary, not creepy. Very cute. Hocus Pocus. Next up is Hocus Pocus and Little Pumpkin Friend by Amy Brooken Designs. A little Hocus Pocus. That's cute. Very cute. Your little witch. Next is Ho 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 by Amy Brooken Designs. Just a little Ho Ho Ho. Cute Santa with the snowman there. Very fun. 
Next up is Hope by Kesslins. And this is a beautiful design, and then it's in script there. It says Hope. Very pretty. Next is Hoppy Halloween Kit. Here's another. Oh, this is cute. By Satsuma Street. He's darling. He's so happy. That's really cute. Next up is Horace Doyle, 1739 by Twin Peaks Primitive. Twin Peak Primitives. It says a sweet friendship reaches refreshes the soul. Uh, beautiful. Lots of lots of stitching in this one, but it's beautiful. Look, there's a little girl there with a little puppy dog, some horses. Beautiful. Horace Doyle, 1739. Next is Hot Cocoa and Cookies by New York Dreamer. Hot Cocoa and Cookies. So it's kind of finished to look like it's on a, on a, a mug there. You can see that. New York Dreamer, Hot Cocoa and Cookies. Next up is House in the Garden by Lucy Beam. Uh, so <laughs> look, it's sideways. There's a giant house in the garden, and it's all sideways. That's fun. That's really creative. Next up is I Love Cross Stitch Pillow by Serenita de Campania. That's really cute. I'm going to write that down because that's that same little girl without the heart that I was talking about. Um, so this might be a better choice for me. All right, I'm going to take a little break, eat some lunch, and then I will come back and we will uh, finish up. So I will be back in just a second for you.